running my goddamn mouth. Not exactly how I am. We just gotta get out of our own way. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Tessie and welcome to another vlog. Okay, if you guys just finished watching last week, which y'all shouldn't have just finished it, but what I'm saying is y'all should have already watched it, okay? Right now I am getting ready. I'm about to go run a few errands because I've been in the house the past few days, past two days. I don't know why I'm acting like that, but it's because for about like a straight six, four months i was outside every day from like i don't know one to nine a.m every single day for the most part and so taking those two days was like what what am i doing here all right i'm done oiling my hair because y'all i need to find something to do with my hair um have a sponge i have a brush i have all the things to do my hair but i just haven't had the time to sit down and do it okay so normally i like to start my vlogs on Sunday, but I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of Saturday because I didn't have anything to record the past two days. So I'm gonna get ready right now. Can you get down? Get down. Come on, Simba. Get down. Come on, go. Thank you. I can't even oil you my hair, bro. All right. So let's get some lotion. Guys, first of all, this outfit I had on, I brought, I don't know how many years ago, maybe like four years ago. And I was a thickums, which I love being a thickums, so don't take that like that. But now I put it on today, guys. And like, I'm so skinny in it that it's like baggy and kind of falling off of me. Um, My full body mirror is still covered right now. So you know what? I'm gonna go to the fitness center. And if nobody's in there, I'll show you guys the outfit. Um, and then yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. All right guys, so I'm finally outside. Oh, what's this on this lens? Hold on. All right, I'm finally outside. I didn't get to stop at the um thing, so this is my outfit for the day, y'all. I brought this from this from Fashion Over H and M. Fashion Over, guys. I don't know, but all right. I will see you guys when we get in the store. y'all we just made it back from walmart so we're gonna do a really quick haul for you guys well i'm gonna do it so babe needed some clothes i am not going to show all of that but he got a slack and some shirts a shirt simba all right so we got some bread i found these for a dollar how cute is this two little rolls because i brought some sandwich meat for some reason i've been eating this heavy lately it's only a dollar um i got me two avocados they got some more bagels got me some cinnamon some more apples they've got a beer and some whipping top back there some more butter pecan because this oh why did i do that? sorry some more butter pecan some more bananas oh some jalapenos y'all we put these jalapenos on a scanner and they came up to three dollars for two we was flabbergasted but we figured out what was wrong um some waffle cones because if you know you know a scrubbing daddy period because yeah um some more of these corn chips those were really good i got some sandwich meat which now i'm thinking and i'm like i paid i don't know how many slices are in here but half a pound for five dollars should i just have gotten a full pound for ten i don't know we're gonna see what they're hitting for and then what you gonna got some gorilla glue they've got some gummies y'all i never had gouda so i want to try it um i'm so hungry right now i'm trying to figure out what to eat apple pie some more dish detergent some mayo mustard 
and we got the baby some more food because they need it i think that's everything guys and y'all know i got me a cap anytime i go outside i'm getting this cap all right guys i think that's everything if it's not oh well i'm starving it's 5 30 i haven't eaten at all i barely drank a bottle of water so i'm about to get undressed probably watch me some ufc make me something to eat and i'll be back later on tonight so i finally made me something to eat. i just made me like a little honey glazed turkey on those rolls that i just showed you guys with some gouda cheese some chips a banana of course a bottle of water and i'm gonna get some editing done because i need to badly <laughs> i haven't edited <sighs> at all hi guys and happy sunday i know i started the vlog yesterday but officially i like to start my vlogs on sunday all right guys so I wanted to get up and I wanted to pour into myself first before I even got on this camera. So I like planned my day, I washed up, I drank some water, I ate a banana, and then I kind of got to work. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm probably gonna get into today. It's not gonna be much. I wanted to do a Sunday reset, but since we just moved in, everything is practically like up to date and kind of clean or whatever. The only thing that probably could use a Sunday reset is the bathroom. That might be the only thing. Other than that, my goal for today is to finish editing because y'all, I got to, f I edited my whole vlog last night. I'm so proud of myself. Who is she? Cause I didn't tell you guys, but I had a vlog edited and um, by mistake, I deleted <laughs> the whole edited version. I know. So I had to go back and re-edit it, but it's done. It's like 90, it's like 85, 95% done. So I'm super happy about that. It will be uploaded sometime this week. So look for that um also we went to cook sunday dinner so we're doing that and then i have some other things that are like on my to-do list and tasks and goals that i want to do but the main thing was just edit enjoy my sunday and cook a sunday dinner so let me go show you guys what we're cooking y'all right, i don't know if i said happy sunday or not but happy sunday so let's get into what she cooking well what we cooking as a family because babe is cooking too So here y'all, I already started it. Wow. We got some ham hocks cooking. There we are. I'm about to put some more water in them and then start breaking them off that bone. Babe just put this rice together. Cute. And um, there is some. Sorry about that. There is some chicken in here that he cooked earlier. And this is what I'm putting on top of the um, ham hocks and cabbage. So, that's what my kitchen looking like on this Sunday, but I love it because it means it's working. I think that's all I wanted to update you guys on. Y'all gonna spend the rest of the day with me, whatever else I get into, but happy Sunday. I hope everybody is having a peaceful, um, relaxing sunday right don't do too much y'all just let your energy be where it is let your mind just be free and enjoy your sunday because before you know it monday is here so enjoy simba you got something to say to the people what you got to say anything oh okay okay well bye say bye Okay, I guess he said bye, y'all. He's sick of it.
y'all dinner is done so i just wanted to share with you this is the rice that babe made my cabbage period get into it don't play with her play with somebody else and cornbread and babe's chicken y'all i'm about to tear this up sorry no sorry It do taste like, I don't know, cabbage? Tastes buttery, huh? I'm sure that's how it's supposed to taste, I don't know. Right? Mm-mm, the cabbage. Mm-hmm. Bussin. Now we're going to add it. You already know. Good afternoon guys and happy Monday. Yeah, it's literally three o'clock. Three o'clock y'all, I'm not just waking up, but I'm like just getting up to like start washing my face and stuff. Happy Monday, I'm excited for this week. There's a lot that has to get done. So, but I'm just waking up y'all because I stayed up all night last night. Yep. I sure did. I was editing and um I finally got my vlog uploaded. Period. So proud of myself for that. So this so the same thing happened to me back to back. So I had the vlog that's up now, the um goodbye Benson vlog. Go watch it. I had that vlog up. No, I had it um edited by june before i moved in i had it 85 percent edited and ready to upload by like june 2nd i want to say y'all tell me why i was cleaning out my computer trying to give myself some space and deleted the whole thing and so what happened was right after that i moved in june 3rd and i was already recording that vlog for you guys so i never got a chance to sit down and re-edit my work so I didn't start re-editing it or sit down to finally get the time to re-edit it until just now Saturday that just passed. So I find I really edited and got that up for you guys in less than 48 hours once I sat down and worked on it. Um, so I'm super happy about that. That's up and running. Um, however, always trying to do too much and move so fast. I did the same thing to myself last night. So once I got the um, Goodbye Benson goodbye Benson video uploaded, I wanted to go ahead and start working on the moving vlog that I just closed out on Saturday, right? Like, I'm girl, she's moving. She's doing what needs to be done. I closed out the vlog on Saturday. I'm ready to get it edited and get it uploaded, you know, sooner than later, right? Y'all... I deleted again trying to clear some space so now thank god i had only edited like four minutes so that meant to me importing all over again putting it all together in a vlog all over again and this is now like 5 a.m in the morning so i tried to stay up to edit to the same port like part sorry portion that I had edited already, but that didn't work. I started crashing, fell asleep. I'm up eating ice cream, cones, and banet, uh, butter pecan and all that. So by the time I finally went to sleep, y'all, I was knocked out. I might woke up a few times, but I wasn't up ready to like, you know, do nothing. And so 
that led to me waking up at one o'clock for the most part now i need to eat today y'all i've had some berries and some mushrooms in um that fridge for too long and i do not want them to go rotten or spoil um so right now i'm just washing up doing all that a little bit um trying to make myself look a little decent and presentable just a little bit because i ain't gonna know i'll be in the house all day today so right now what else i want to tell you guys oh yeah so i got everything back i'll be editing that oh my my face is so dry i'll be editing that today getting that done gonna eat today and really just play the house and really get some stuff done um so again i don't have much on itinerary but whatever i get into you guys will be with me we're about to go cook really quick so i can have a nice balanced nutritious healthy meal in my belly which is nothing i'm not really hungry because i was up snacking all night and yes i keep telling myself to record when i break night but I be so focused on whatever I'm like doing guys that I don't record but however the next time I break night we will share that together like we will share that together so y'all can see what I be doing when I'm up all night I don't be just watching TV I promise the TV be on but my mind my focus my energy my attention be on being productive because if I'm going to be up late like that I'm going to use it to my ability right all right guys so i'm just gonna finish hygiene a little bit and then i'll see you guys when we're out cooking so let me show you guys what we're about to cook and eat because yeah okay y'all so i need don't mind this i need to move this off but i need to get this stuff eaten so i've had these berries y'all know we did the haul last week um, these mushrooms are my main focus because look they're okay but they look like they're trying to turn on me and I ain't got time for that so what we're gonna make right now is we're gonna make a little omelet with some mushrooms tomatoes onions jalapenos onions jalapenos sorry and some cheese we're gonna make an omelet and then we're gonna Cut up some of these berries my blueberries just fell in here because i don't want the mildew and we're gonna make us a parfait as well i took out this i don't know if i'm gonna use it this right now this instant but i do know i'm gonna make a parfait we're gonna make a little bit of grits and that's what we're gonna try to eat oh and some sausages that's what we're gonna try to eat um right now so <laughs> Sausages 
sure you guys know at this point, it's either I eat everything or nothing at all. But I'm about to go devour all of this.
washed already, so I'm cool with that. I've really just been sitting here editing as y'all seen. Got this little meal I'm about to eat. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we were supposed to do a Sunday reset on Sunday. Told y'all we was too busy, but we would get it in before the week ended. And so did we. I'm so proud of us. Thanks, babe. So he just did a little bathroom reset, which is what I told y'all we would do. Love that. Clean those paw prints off because my kids was doing the most. Um, yeah, it's not much. We only been here officially for a week, so I can't wait to take a shower later on. That shower in a fresh, clean bathroom hit different. All right, I am enough. I am powerful. I am important, I am worthy, I am valuable, I am intelligent, I am strong, I am teachable, I am bold, I am brave, I am healing, I am doing the work, I am creating and building the life of my dreams, I am worthy, I am right on time and right where I need to be, I am winning mentally, physically, emotionally, soulfully, energetically, spiritually, financially. I am capable of doing hard things. Hard does not mean impossible. It just means you haven't done it yet. But you can. You are capable. I am elevating. I am evolving. I am a successful content creator. I get paid and I live a luxurious life of abundance off of my content. I am beautiful inside and out and working more on the inside than the outside. I am healthy in all areas of my life. I am present. I am moving forward and pushing past it. I am forgiving myself for my past. I accept and I appreciate my past. Without my past, I could not be who I am, where I am, or evolving in the way that I am right now. So I appreciate my past to help me get to my present. And then my present will help me get to my future. I am growing. I am releasing the urge and temptation to control and operate with fear, self-doubt, negative self-talk, laziness, procrastination, wasting my time, energy, and attention. I am stingy with myself. It is a privilege to be around me. I am my number one priority. I am taking care of myself first and foremost. I am a beautiful, bold, intelligent, successful, caring, nurturing, ambitious, intent, innovative, creative, um, did I say beautiful, gorgeous, mm -hmm. amazing, special, important, worthy black woman. I love my black skin. My black skin represents perseverance, resilience, just my black skin represents and is the essence of everything beautiful, nurturing, and amazing in this lifetime and I'm honored to live my life and my skin. I am unlearning all the old ways of behaving, acting, thinking, and doing. I choose to operate in healthier ways. I don't chase or beg. I attract abundance. I live life abundantly. Everything comes to me in abundance. I am deserving of the life that I desire. I deserve all great things into my life. I am building a healthy a healthy tribe, okay? I'm operating with high vibrations. When they go low, I go high. I don't match energies, mindsets, tones, words. I don't match anything. I stay true to who I am and my vibrations. I am victorious. I have made it through all things and the victory is always mine. I'm focusing on me. I'm working on it to become a better communicator. I am listening. I'm working on loving me as a whole, the undeveloped parts, the unnurtured parts, the sad parts, the confused parts, the parts that I've kept in the dark for too long, all right? I am proud of myself. I am proud of me, and I'm doing the work to make myself prouder. I am choosing me, always. I am setting healthy boundaries, doing the work to remove all blockages. I am not a people pleaser. I am not a people pleaser. 
I will be considerate, I will be respectful. I am who I am unapologetically and authentically. I walk in as who I am, I own the room, I read the room, I am my own energy. I am walking to the spaces as who I am because I am enough exactly how I am. I am making the right sacrifices to get to where I want and need to be. I am building a grounded, stable foundation because if my foundation is not grounded and if my foundation is not stable, what are we doing here? We don't want no rickety place. We're not doing it, okay? I'm working on me. I'm becoming the best version of me. I am moving out of my comfort zone because I believe that my comfort zone is my kill zone. I can't learn there. I cannot grow there. I can't heal there. What can I experience in my comfort zone? Nothing. I am loved. I am a queen. And I am 100% that bitch. I'm a multi-billionaire. I am committed to myself and I am a money magnet. Money flows to me effortlessly and freely. I get paid just because I am me. I'm focused on who I am now and not who I used to be. I am enjoying the journey and embracing the journey because the journey is where everything happens. That's where the experience happens, the growth happens. That is where the challenges happen. That's where the magic happens on the journey. Waiting to get to the destination is just one place, the destination. Place myself in spaces where I know I can be taught, where I can be challenged to become the better version of me, to break out of my shell and do what I know is for me. I am setting high standards for myself. This life was meant for me. This is my winning season, baby. This is my winning season. I am here to reap everything that God has for me. I am free to be me. Because me is all that I can be, and I will always be authentically me. I am black girl joy. Yes, I am, girl. Look at cheekbones, period. I am confident in who I am. I believe in myself. I am deserving of the life I desire. With intention, purpose, manifestation, and discipline, I will have it all. I am secure with myself. And I speak everything that I desire and I want into existence. I share. Oh, so y'all just seen me buy this last vlog, right? From Dollar Tree. I cannot believe this happened. Y'all know how much I love my ice. Look at this. Y'all look at, oh, girl, why you be always doing that? Playing with me, stop. You just want to fall. All right, y'all, look. Look at this. Can I get you this? How are you doing that? Stop it. Okay. Can I get you this? Look at this. What? I mean, it was from Dollar Tree, but I was never expecting me to have that much strength to break the damn ice tray, y'all. Ugh.
around like 8 o'clock. It's my first time coming on the vlog face to face. I know y'all seen a little bit of things that we did, but I haven't really been able to talk a lot for like the past two days because I've just been getting them all done. So, little recap. I didn't do anything yesterday, Tuesday, but edit all day. I finished that vlog. I'm so excited because I'll be able to upload it before this week is over. So, yay for me. Second, did I tell you guys like Sunday going into Monday that I was up all night long? I don't know if I told you guys that, but I was up all night long because my ass went and got a cappuccino at like 12.30 midnight, right? Guess what? I did the same thing yesterday. I went and got a cap at like 2 30 in the morning however um i was i didn't it didn't keep me up all night so i'm happy about that i was able to go to sleep right y'all we woke up to a job offer today i'm so excited i woke up seen a text message i'm like hell yeah i'm interested i'm very very interested i responded back but i haven't heard back but i'll keep you guys updated on that because y'all know we need an income we just moved we need a j-o-b baby okay y'all this is getting ridiculous look at this shoot my bad look at this y'all y'all see this spam calls like that's ridiculous it's time for me to change my number because it's no reason why i'm getting three to four spam calls daily and they're leaving voice notes and voicemails i mean too that's ridiculous time to change that number time to change the number i had this number for about two years now i think i changed it in 2022 so it's about that time baby i did stay up yesterday but not so late i think i will sleep by three o'clock anyway that's not the point the point is i love when i stay up and i have those quiet times because am i the only one that gets like the aha clarity no more fear no more doubt i gotta do this i'm that woman you know what i mean like do you get that energy around those hours too between like one and like 5 a.m so last night one came upon me mm -hmm. i was laying in bed and i was scrolling on youtube and i was just seeing some of the youtubers who have a lot of success which there are plenty of successful youtubers right like and so i was thinking to myself when am I going to stop playing with myself? When am I going to put the pedal to the metal, stomp down, stop stepping on the brakes, and just keep going, right? Because I know that this life is mine. I know that YouTube success is already mine. I, God has already told me that it's mine. He has already blessed me with all the equipment, the mindset, the creativity. It's just me and being consistent. It's just me and like like just like guys just I'm, I'm dragging it you know what i mean like i'm just really dragging it dragging it dragging it. yeah just gotta stop dragging it gotta stop making it harder for myself you know what i mean like i can do this i know i can do this i'm doing this so i need to just be honestly more realistic i struggle a lot with perfectionism and so i think a lot of times that like why is it saying i have nothing on this um SD card. Be right back, guys. All right, y'all. I'm back. I had to switch SD cards, but um, yeah, like, just be more real realistic. I'm sorry, and stop chasing perfectionism so hard. On top of that, how am I gonna be a perfectionist in something that I've never done before? Like, why would I give myself that overwhelming stress that then often leads to depression? That then leads to like, why would I do that to me? that's not fair but once i moved i had already mentally decided energetically decided that i am going to release and remove all things that were a part of me things that i may have struggled with i'm going to work on with this new beginning in my life right now that's what this chapter is for and so with moving i said i was not going to be lazy anymore i was not going to allow distractions to like <laughs> be you know what i'm saying the forefront like i was gonna push past all distractions and i was just gonna get to work because at the end of the day it's all about how bad do you want it y'all and that's like that's what popped in my head when i was laying in bed last night like tell how bad do you want this do you want this so bad that if you don't get it you'll you know what i'm saying you won't be able to breathe you won't be able to walk like how bad do you want this and that's really what it comes down to guys for anything in life that we want it's about how bad we want it how hard we're willing to work how much effort we're willing to put into what we want because if we're not going to give it drive ambition effort dedication determination consistency 
we're not going to get anything out of it. We're literally going to be depositing donuts into our account. And then when it's time to withdraw, guess what we're going to get? Donuts. Because at the end of the day, it's going to take work to create anything that you want. If you're trying to build a business right now, if you're trying to build your social media platforms, if you're trying to build your dream body, if you're trying to get your mind right, if you're trying to build you a good team and a good, like, it's gonna take work for anything that we want. And so if you really want it, you have to move with intention and you have to move with purpose, but you also have to say to yourself, again, how bad do I want this? Like, how bad do I want it? What am I willing to give? What am I willing to like stop doing? What am I willing to change? What am I willing to release myself from? What bounds and blockages am I willing to break through? You feel me? But just because it takes work does not mean we can't do it. We just have to move with intention and move with purpose and move with belief. Knowing that every day, every minute, every second, as long as you're putting a decent deposit and sometimes it's not always like currency, it's not always 100%. Sometimes if all you have to deposit in what you want and create what you want is 20%. If it's the best 20% that you can offer, it's good enough, y'all. Yeah, so even with coming and having this chat with y'all, like, I had it in my head all day. Um, when I said it last night, I wish I would've picked up the camera, and you guys know that's something I'm working on, so I'm gonna start being more active with that. When I have a thought, when I have a moment, I gotta pick up this camera and I gotta talk to y'all because that's when it's gonna be the most authentic. And one thing about me, I want to be authentic, and I want to. I try to show up as authentically as I can in anything that I do. So that's why I wanted to have this real talk right now, this real moment with you guys, and say, again, how bad do you want it? Because when I was laying in that bed last night, and I was looking at all the success that my sisters is getting on this hit platform, all that came over me was, I got this. I ain't moving with no more fear. I ain't moving with no more doubt. This is mine, and I'm going to get it. So I hope that that inspires and helps somebody right now with anything that you're trying to create or anything that you're trying to, you know, move away from or anything that you just want out of life. However, you can apply it, apply it. It doesn't have to be strictly towards influencer or content. It's anything. Like I said earlier, if you're trying to build that dream body, how bad do you want it? Do you want it so bad that you're going to eat your fruits more than you allow the craving of sugar to you know, be on your shoulder or that monkey on your back. You know what I mean? Like, what do you want? All right, so that's just my little tidbit for today. For the rest, I've got some clothes washing in the background, so I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm watching a basketball game, as you guys just seen. i got some other things that I want to do. I want to finish editing. I found some more clips that I want to add into um, the vlog, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, guys, that's just really what's been on my mind. And I just wanted to come have that authentic conversation and chit-chat with you guys to say, we can do it guys, we can do anything we put our mind to, as long as you're willing to invest in yourself and as long as you're willing to not allow anything to cross your path and get in your way, we got this. I really am going to work on picking up the camera in the moment, right? Because I feel like it would have flowed better the way I wanted it to if I would have said this to you guys last night, you know, even though it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, so what? Um, it would have flowed better for me and I don't know now I feel like I'm talking I know the points that I wanted to hit but I just feel like that sauce that I had last night that energy that I was really in last night was like that real raw dog energy and so that was real <laughs> um, but that's what I really just that's what I just want to share with you guys so Whatever else I get into for the rest of the night because y'all, I'm hungry again. Your girl's been eating. I've been drinking my water. It's been so great to be back in my own space, in my own presence, in my own peace. You hear me? And so I think my appetite and, and stuff is like getting back. Not to normal, but we getting, you know what I'm saying? We stepping. So I love that for me. Um, but I do love when I have those moments. I really do because I know that it is my spirit it is the universe it is god talking to me it's not the noise it's not what i put in my head it's not the doubt it's none of that it's me basically saying like i got this and i can really do this all right guys i want to start repeating myself because y'all know how i am so i'm gonna wrap up that moment but like i said i hope that it inspires and helps somebody um and if it doesn't you guys will see that I've applied it to my life and it's helped me and then maybe that will inspire you guys and um, help you guys create and move forward. Alright guys, anytime I have another another moment, I promise to pick up it 
and pick up the camera in the moment. For now, I am done. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. All right, guys, so I know it's like next week, but so what? We finally put some stuff in the closet. Actually, babe put this in the closet. It's just really put in there. <laughs> it's not really like... Yeah, exactly. But nonetheless, I am happy that the clothes are up. And I cannot wait to decorate this whole thing. What do you guys think should go at the top? I don't know. But I can't wait to decorate this whole thing and really have it looking amazing. Alright, so this is what I decided to eat. They're from Walmart. Got them during the haul. And if you want to elevate your beef patties, add some stuff. So I like to put... Come on, focus. I like to put crushed red peppers, Italian seasoning and some garlic seasoning and also I'm going to put some gouda cheese in it so they are almost ready I don't know how much dark it is supposed to get y'all All right, y'all, it is 12, 19, and look what I have they bring me. Y'all, why? <laughs> and he brought me some extra, what you call it. This is why my ass be up, y'all. Still got some stuff. I'm going to plan the rest of the stuff to share with y'all tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys and happy Thursday. It's roughly like 2.13. So I just wanted to come chat really quick. Open up today's vlog. Um, Alright guys. So last night the last thing you guys see me get was the cat. It was good. He actually just went to go get me another one. But it was decent. I didn't even use the extra brown sugar. Um, Those beef patties. Mm, they, they weren't good. They, they, I've had better. I've had better be fatty so probably after we finish these i might not repurchase that those same ones from that brand but guys i really came back because i told you guys all authenticity one thing about me when i'm not in front of this camera i'm very authentic with my expressions my emotions and everything else and so excuse me you guys know all about what i just went through the eviction process my mom i have i didn't even download on everything with my mom because that's not needed i didn't even download you guys on uh, everything that happened with my grandparents because some things are just not needed um, but just know that they were full of a lot of murky dead scaly nasty ugly water okay I, I want to say it like that and so yesterday I had a moment where <sighs> some things just came back and I'm very hard on myself guys very very hard on myself and so I was slightly angry with myself for even giving energy, thoughts, or emote or anything um, to any of those past events. So I want to come talk about that. Like, how do you guys handle some of the residue or what may come back around when you've gotten through unpleasant events? One thing about me is I take being treated very serious. How I'm treated is very serious to me. I do not take bad treatment. I'm not here for that. Um, I will leave. I'm a ghoster, I'll leave, I'll just get out the way. Disappearance, right? If I knew how to do good effects right there, I would've just disappeared. Um, <laughs> I woke up this morning with a clearer head though, and I'm just like, the great thing is that you're past it already. And so whatever comes up from it, from it is just human. You don't like the way you were treated, and so you're not really complaining or anything about it, but it's gonna happen, you're human. Um, so how do you guys deal, I'm sorry, how do you guys deal with past events? Um, I hate having to think about them. I hate having to remember anything about them. I just want them to be obsolete, dead, done, gone. Moment, and I didn't want to think about those past events. I felt like I made it through, so why would I even take myself back down those roads? And I'm not trying to, but again, as a human, it just pops up and happens. I had a moment, I saged, I prayed, and I asked God to help me 
day by day, minute by minute, second by second, be able to create distance between that and where I am now. Because here's the truth, guys. No matter your stature, no matter your economic value, because you know, you're always going to have, you're always going to brush against things that probably don't feel the best for you. And that's life, right? So yeah, like, I know that that's not going to be the last time that things, like, pop up but I want to find healthier ways to deal with them um, healthier ways to process them so I can move on but dealing with past, how do you guys again how do you guys deal with past events I'm so bothered with myself not being able to articulate express and communicate the way that I had it like stored in my brain in my body and now I'm fumbling my words I hate that for me but it's a process and I gotta work on it but I have a specific way I want to be treated. And when my feelings are hurt, um, never a good thing for me. I don't good, I don't think that's a good thing for anybody. Who likes pain, you know? I, I mean, we like certain pain. I like workout pain. I like, you know, maybe getting pierced pain and stuff like that. But I don't like the pain when it comes with being treated poorly by people. And so I think that was a part of it, too, is that I've been treated really poorly by people. Um... And even though you can see it, separate yourself from it, it doesn't mean it doesn't bother you. Another thing is, I express myself. When you don't treat me the way I want to be treated, I'm going to tell you. And in telling you how I feel, then I become villainized by expressing how I feel. And I told you guys the last vlog, villain me out because I don't care. If you want to villain me or make me a villain villainize me because i'm telling you that you did something i don't like then villain me out i don't care um it used to bother me not really but it used to bother me <laughs> but now it's just like yeah no like if that's how you because what you're doing is trying to gaslight me and, and manipulate me and that's why so yeah i don't subscribe to being treated any old type of way i never have i never will and i'm proud of myself for that and I think oftentimes I need to just give myself a pat on the back and a really big hug for being able to have that type of standards and being okay with the fact that you got to go that way because you don't deserve to be in this. Okay? But I'm going to go because let me show you guys. We're about to eat and I'll just talk to you guys later. Um, and I got to work on it, guys. I got to work on being able to come and say exactly what it is not trying to sound a different way like a philosopher or anything like that like i just put too much pressure on myself when i'm trying to offer my authentic feels and i don't do that when the camera is not on i say exactly how i feel and what and what i want and i'm i want to get to that place here it's just something about that little red light that makes me say oh stand up right say it right you know what i mean it's like performance time and i'm trying to get away from that so yeah um i'm proud of myself for, for embracing and dealing and processing and understanding that it's okay that i have those moments the best thing is that i come up out of them because they are exactly what they are a moment and that i don't um i don't drag them you know i don't drag them because if people treat me like that, they don't deserve to live in my brain. They don't deserve to have my presence. They don't deserve any of me. If that's how you feel I deserve to be treated, then my mindset, my life says, then you don't deserve to have me in your life. And so it was a moment and I'm sure we'll experience many more as I continue through my journey. But right now, let me show you guys what we're about to eat and I'll come back and talk to you guys later. Okay, guys. So this is some of the stuff we have made already. Some sausages, some bacon. I got my eggs some um eggos y'all know i'm gonna make my famous apple and peanut butter love it down i got some berries over here too raspberries and um blackberries that i'm gonna try to get out and i think i'm gonna have a banana with my waffles so i'm just gonna go eat oh and babe brought babe brought my cap so let's see what it's hitting for oh this thing is hot y'all hold on oh cheers y'all oh my god delish this is perfect i don't know you made it different than last night really this is extra too. 
Oh my god, y'all, I'm about to pick out and eat. All right, bye. So breakfast is ready. This is what she looking like. Why did I make so much food? I don't know, but I'm gonna eat it all and then I probably won't eat again. My cat. Mm-hmm. I probably won't eat again until like seven o'clock. It's like 2.30. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Sorry. I already started eating. That's why you hear me, but oh my god, life. So we have those turkey sticks I showed y'all, the cube cheese, the broccoli, celery, carrots, ranch dressing, y'all. Literally life, like this, literally, sorry. Oh God. Oh God. I ain't really been doing nothing today, but running my mouth. Running my goddamn mouth. I did some laundry. I talked to babe. But I've just been allowing that stuff I talked to you guys earlier. It's not like on my brain press, pestering me, but I hate that's even on my damn brain. So, but. I'm human. So they say. <laughs> so days like this are gonna come. Oh my god. Alright y'all. See y'all later. Hi guys and happy Friday. It is roughly like five 30 right now i know it's really really late um i woke up pretty early today but y'all the stuff that i was venting to you guys about like a day or two ago was on my mind on my subconscious so heavy so hard that i actually woke up early today and i was just not feeling well like my emotions my mental health my body was aching because my period is about to come and so i climbed my butt right back in bed I can't remember, but y'all, it was so bad. It was on my subconscious so bad that I actually had a nightmare. I can't remember if that's when I woke up the first time and got back in bed or when I woke up after getting back in bed. I can't remember, but y'all, having that nightmare completely just threw me off the rails. Like, I just was not feeling it. I actually had a dream or a nightmare that I got into another fight with my mother's husband. And this time I was literally just like barricade in the bathroom, which is crazy but i was like barricaded in the bathroom fighting him through the door it was just it was a lot and this is why i just know that i still have a lot of healing i have a lot of purging to do i have a lot of just moving myself away from it like ugh. it's a lot y'all i really just gotta start taking care of myself so as y'all can see i got up eventually i think around like two o'clock i finally got out of bed i'm not even gonna lie i got up babe asked that i want to go out walking today so i was like you know what i had already said i need to go outside i haven't moved my body or really like been active since we moved so i'm down for that for sure so i got up got dressed doing this little outfit we're about to talk about this in a minute i wanted to give you guys an update on the job so i hadn't heard back but I did what you are supposed to do when you want something as an adult. And so I took the initiative to reach back out. I still haven't heard back. I'm not going to get my feelings in my head or bother myself about it because it's only two things that's going to happen. I'm either going to get this job or God is not allowing me to get this one because he has something in store for me that is much, much better and greater. So that's a little catch up. Where we're about to go? McDonald's. I know that's crazy, but y'all, let me show y'all that the um the track that this mcdonald's is about to be hold on one second then we gotta finish getting ready so we can head out y'all see that i just want to show y'all the minutes that it's gonna take can you see do that 28 minutes is it um i hope y'all can see that but 28 minutes this walk is about to be so yeah um but yeah guys that's really just been the early half of my Friday. So I'm about to go to McDonald's and eat as much as I goddamn want. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come home 
and game four is on tonight at this point boston has a three up advantage and even though they're playing in dallas it is what it is so y'all know i told y'all last vlog that i'm going for boston so we gonna see tonight if it's over or if it if the series gets extended to a game five let's get finished getting dressed i'm just gonna put on a little deodorant y'all know i'm gonna step off the cam mm-hmm Y'all know I gotta see how much deodorant I put on because I don't like a lot. Um, about to put a little oil. Oh. Put a little oil in my hair, y'all. I've decided that one day I'm definitely gonna do my hair because I can't do this. <laughs> like, I can't do this. This is crazy. Let me just clean up this counter a little bit um, so it's not looking crazy. Then we're gonna just go ahead. Oh, so let me give y'all a little um let me talk about this jump i have on so first i'm going to give myself some applause and then we're going to talk crap about it because that's what we got to do so the applause is y'all i brought this um jumper from old navy i think i think i brought it from old navy when i was living in buffalo which was probably about six years ago if not more yeah and so when I was living in Buffalo, your girl body had slimmed down. It probably was a stress, but your girl body had slimmed down. So I had went shopping. It, I had, all right. As women, what we do is we keep certain article of clothing when we're on a weight loss journey to kind of like gauge and test ourselves to see our progress. And so I had probably tried these on like a year ago and I could kind of fit them, but they was kind of like snug and tight. So I was like, okay. However, y'all, I just went in a little barrel and pull some stuff out and y'all can y'all get can y'all see i'm not sucking in nothing like this is really good now what i don't like about it though is once i clip it together y'all i don't like the gap it gives it either gives a really bad gap in the back or like this in the front i'd rather it be like this in the front than a gap in the back hold on let me clip this one and show y'all one second all right Okay, so you see how this looks in the front? Decent, right? It's all right. Boom. I don't like that. Like, I would much rather my gap be here. And I don't like that either. So I don't know what we're going to do, y'all. But this is what we're wearing because I ain't putting on nothing else. And I want to be, it's 95 degrees. I'm going to show you guys that. Or it's 92, but it feels like 95. Um, so I want to be comfortable when I'm walking. This is pretty comfortable to, like, walk in. Um... So yeah, let's go ahead and put some oil in this hair and then I'll see you guys when I'm packing my bag. All right, y'all, so I am back. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair. That's why I'm still leaving it like this. I don't know if I want to give myself another cut and rock my, you know what I'm saying, shortcut or if I want to take care of what I have on my head and start wearing my TWA. Whenever I figure it out, we gonna figure it out together. Another thing I noticed when I was just talking to you guys is I do not give myself grace. I'm not patient with myself. I don't allow myself the time that is needed to process to move on. Like, guys, all that stuff just happened in January. It's just June. I just moved out of my grandparents' house. Like, I have such a horrible attachment to just getting over stuff, trying to get over stuff, and move on. And that's, that's so detrimental, so dangerous to my mindset, my mental health, my soul, my spirit, my energy, just me as a whole um and so i really want to work on taking care of myself definitely more this year like giving myself the space the patience the grace just <sighs> period right um i really need to because like why would i think that i would be over something that i never sat with to be over and the, the weird thing with me, though, is that I am a person who definitely expresses her emotions and how she feels. And I think that I feel because I do that, that it's helping me move forward. And I'm not saying it's not because I think holding on to things and uh, creating like this um, pit to house all that stuff will eventually have you implode. 
um, from the inside, right? You can either explode or implode. Um, implode. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I know I'm saying it right. And so I want to work on that for myself. That stuff just happened. Even though the other minions <laughs> are not important, there was one significant person that was important in that whole debacle of drama. Um, so I'm going to work on that. It takes a lot. Healing is not easy. You know, it doesn't happen with a snap of a finger. And it definitely doesn't happen to you because you turn off the lights and it's nighttime and you wake up the next day and it's a new day. It is a process. Um, and I feel like I've kind of always been like that. You know, I know it's hard for us as black women. We never get the space. We never get the opportunity to ever say that things are wrong with us or things hurt our feelings and things like that again i feel like i'm a person that always expresses that but that does not mean that sometimes that gauntlet and that sludge hammer does not come down that does not mean that i don't still get affected from being underneath that type of thumb for that just being how we're treated all across the board so that's what's important to me and that's what i want to do for myself take care of myself heal myself forgive myself um and do it like properly you know what i mean do it for real all right so i just wanted to give you a tidbit go ahead and finish show you all the stuff that i am going to put in my book bag so i'm gonna carry this i always carry um i'm oh, sorry i always carry a um portable like charger because if my phone ain't dead his phone is dead it always helps okay i know i'm kind of cut off because i'm really close let me move y'all back matter of fact do it get dark y'all good it don't get that dark all right perfect i'm gonna definitely carry some lotion um my wallet um blistex well blistex sanitizer which ain't nothing in there but i got another one i just found i think that's about it y'all oh and obviously some wires obviously some wires to go with the charging thing um so i'm gonna leave the bricks because i don't need them i'm gonna put some blistex on my god darn lips because i feel them i also have another thing a little too wow now i dropped it in the sink that's crazy i also have another lotion too this just i use this for hands whatever whatever did it get wet okay so y'all that is about it and that's really all i have to say i will see you guys along the way bye so y'all know i share my prayer with y'all so today's prayer was authentically me and this was the scripture that it was broken down from so love that for me because i always tell y'all if i'm gonna be anything i'm gonna be authentic <laughs>just made it home yeah yeah bully my belly is full <laughs> i ate so much y'all i got a 10 piece nuggets for free i got a um bogo deal 
a large drink and what else did I get that's it right I got a BOGO um, McDouble and fry I got 10 piece nuggets for free I got oh yeah a medium fry and I got a large drink I think that's the whole order for under six dollars period all right so I'm so grateful I took that walk y'all hold on let me put y'all down real quick all right y'all know me boom girl can you see the body hold on move it back a little bit so I could so I could stand closer okay well we gonna stand right here <laughs> I am so happy I took that walk. I am not gonna hold y'all. Like a little bit of me when I first went out was yapping a little aggy. I think it was like I told y'all earlier, all those emotions and stuff, whatever. Um, so I had to spaz out like a mm, bit. It wasn't crazy, but it was like a little minor spaz. But then by the time we got to McDonald's, we sat down, we ate. It was really cute in there, really small, really quaint. Um, so then we sat down. We had a great conversation about progression, moving forward, journey, and what it takes to get us from where we are now to where we want to go. We understand it's going to be a lot of work, but we're encouraged. We're enthusiastic about doing the work that we need because we don't want to live like this anymore. And we know that we deserve so much more. And so let me give you all that tea right now, too. Any idea that you've had, just think about it. Even if you think five years ago, what was something you wanted to do that you know in this present day has not been accomplished? You know why it didn't go away? Because it was set in you, for you, by God. Any idea that we get, God has already told us that he wants us to bring it to fruition. I'm about to start preaching. And so that's why it does not leave us because it is for us. So the T, the word is discipline. Everything that we want, guys, is on the other side of discipline, on the other side of fear, on the other side of self-doubt, on the other side of getting away from things that don't align with you. And I mean that for friends, families, environments, locations, food, water, I mean that for everything. Anything that does not align with what you want your life to look like means that it's not for you in this present moment. So get away from it. Start making the strides and taking the steps to create distance between this and that all right so that's what we did while we was talking um at mcdonald's it was very good one thing i love about being in my relationship is that this is really my best friend and so even though i have a lot of great friends outside of my relationship i love that i can speak to him from the darkest most fearful part of my soul because we all have that and so I was trying to tell him that too. Like he says that he has things on his mind that he wants to share, but he doesn't want to overwhelm me or stress me out. And I'm like, hello, we're in a relationship. We're friends. I, I'm trying to see if y'all can see body, but I think y'all good. Um, we're in a relationship. We're best friends. You have to share with me because more than likely when you have people that are for you and that align with you, First of all, they're going to understand where you're coming from. Second of all, they're going to validate and reassure where you're coming from. And third of all, they're going to want to be a part of holding your hand, giving you a hug, pushing your back, being your, um, what's that, y'all? Being your crutch. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to, your pillar, they're going to want to be that for you in any capacity that they can. It doesn't mean they got to give you 100%. But if someone is your your best friend and they can be your pillar for 20%, sometimes that's the way you need. So I'm telling him, vent to me, voice to me. And I know it's going to take him a while because he's not as outwardly expressive as I am. But I'm grateful that I'm getting the spurts that I'm getting. So I'm very grateful that I took that walk. I, can, I cannot wait, guys, to get back out walking. I can't wait to really get diving into my content um it's so much to do and i no longer want to live that woulda coulda shoulda lifestyle i don't i'm tired of that list and so i feel like my woulda coulda shoulda is like it's too long and i need to start chopping it i need to no longer add no more additions just straight subtractions watch my game because i told you guys earlier so we are in second quarter so that's what i'm about to do right now quick is like i said earlier everything that you want everything that you desire everything that is an idea is already yours we just got to get out of our own way every idea 
every thought that you have means that it is for you means that you can do it just gotta get out of our way like all of us get out of your way i gotta get out of my way just get out of your own way guys and start to make the decisions and the choices that you know you need to make listen i read a post one time that said the let me make sure i say this right y'all the feeling of regret always will never how, how does it go it's like 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 having to do the discipline and the feeling that comes with being disciplined will never supersede the feeling of regret it says something like that and so here's the thing no matter how disciplined you have to be to get what you want the feeling of the regret of not taking a risk of not doing what you want is always gonna feel a lot heavier a lot more like a burden than just being disciplined and doing the work all right done preaching another reason why i was so happy to go y'all is because y'all know your girl love ice y'all i gotta show y'all this i know y'all don't care but i care okay i care y'all this ice is like almost it's giving almost hospital crush vibes it's melting now but oh i'm so happy that i got this now, the last thing i wanted to show you guys was the room can i get you papa papa Okay, so I'm sure I've been giving you guys update, babe, updates. Babe cleaned again. So stuff is really alongside, but it's getting smaller. He mopped the floor. So it's like really clean in here. It smells really good. Um, so this is what the room is looking like right now. It's like, it's coming along. Still no furniture, but guys, I already told y'all what we doing. And if y'all care about the closet, <laughs> here's the great thing y'all we put stuff in there not everything is staying we know that but do y'all remember the basket can i get you get down y'all remember the basket of clothes we had get down little boy strong um you are strong hey hey no bad look at him get down simba i'm about to close it anyway y'all remember the basket of clothes we have we finally put them up there's some blankets up there some towels because we don't really have that stuff to place um we'll be tackling this some point this this month not giving y'all a date but whenever i do it we'll do it so for now can't nobody see but boom she is closed it is clean but all that being said guys Thank you for spending another week with me. Slowly but surely, we are getting comfortable in our new space, which nothing, not even mine. We're already comfortable. We're just like working to make it our own. I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog. I appreciate you guys for being a listener ear when I am venting to you all. I want to do it more because I know that my venting frees me, but also inspires and helps somebody else. So, yeah. For now, that's it in this vlog. I think it's long enough. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.